Hey Scorpio, so Sunny. I'm a psychic medium and I'm here with your monthly for um, February 2017. A car popped out of me and it was remain positive. So regardless of what's going on, you know, you guys are going to have to, okay, now I'm getting the cards when we talk about this. Regardless of what's going on or what's happening, realize and understand that there's always two cups or other opportunities or other happiness that's kind of behind you around you or in front of your face you gotta pay attention to it all right so don't dwell on the bad understand the good and i'm also getting the vibe of stop complaining that was a certain message for someone just stop complaining I feel like the month of February 2017, there's going to be this energy of breaking bread, but not in a bad way. Like just making peace, finding the joy. This card keeps popping out. The remain positive. So the cards are like, just don't worry about anything. Scorpios, once you put it, once you put it in the universe. That everything is going to be okay. The universe is going to allow for that to happen to you. I'm also getting the vibe of either you or someone around you playing the victim role. It doesn't suit you well. I believe I said something like this. I remember I said uh, some of you guys like don't complain. I said that for you guys last month or um, I said something. I can't remember. Uh, so maybe you guys are still having the same mindset or you still have this Debbie Downer person around you who's too much into their emotions. What I'm seeing is a hog and a hamster wheel. I know that's like really, really weird. Some of you guys are really running yourself ragged, like wearing yourself to death. Or there's this sense of you guys need to get out of routine. It's like you do the same thing over and over again. You get up, go to work, come home, cook, watch TV, go to sleep. You do it over and over and over again or whatever it is that you do. This month is advising for you guys to step out of your comfort zone. Just do things differently. Maybe go to a different restaurant, uh, order a different food. Go to a different grocery store. You know, take a different way to work. Like, just do something different. You guys need to experience new things and see new things. So just allow for that to happen. Um, Because I just feel like there's this energy of just feeling stuck and feeling weighed down. Um, And also with the, okay, karma wheel. I was going to say hamster wheel. But some of you guys, there may be an issue in regards to a karmic wheel. Um, Especially... I'm picking up for those with Scorpio moons for some reason or um, this may be for like mental like mentality like not trying to be funny like like sneaky mentality do be careful of you having a sneaky mentality or somebody around you has a sneaky mentality because I am picking up that you know karma has been kind of harsh for you if there has been a sneaky mentality going on. Some of you guys, you're in a you're in a relationship that, or like you're waiting on somebody, and it's like you deserve better. It, it's time for you to let this go. Some of you guys, you may be waiting on someone to come back, or it's like you're waiting on your ideal person. But I'm hearing someone say there is like a female, and she's saying what you want isn't what you need. Stop picturing something in regards to your ideal person because we have something much better for you. For some reason, I'm picking up, um, I keep picking up on like this outdated deal for some of you, like going off on I dated plans. You guys have been doing the same thing for years and years and now it's time to get out of it. I'm also picking up for my Scorpio women, or you may be dealing with like a Scorpio man, and you may just be watching this for him. I don't know why I'm picking up that somebody like with a history of, you know, jail. 
it's time for you to break that karmic energy of feeling like you're trapped or like going back and forth to jail or like having to go back and forth to court in regards to a previous situation where you were incarcerated. But this might be a metaphor for, you know, some of you just feeling trapped. Let me see. Important message for Scorpios for this month, February 2017. Romance. Interesting how that damn car popped out and I just talked about love. All right. Um... You guys may find some love this month, but be careful of you being like, just, okay, this is making sense. I was going to say this, but I don't want people to jump down my damn throat. Um, in regards to romance, be careful of you like just paying attention to this person's like body and like just how they look. Um, because I do feel for some of you, not all of you, these are general ass readings. There may be a situation where, you know, you guys are just like, mm, you're kind of overweight or you're not my type. Like, just get to know the person deep down inside. And it kind of brings you back to this female energy saying, what you're picturing or what you're idolizing, that we have something better for you. So just try your best to just look from within and just see this person for who they are, not how they look okay um but maybe you guys like there may be romance around you now the romance card doesn't necessarily have to be like one-on-one -on -one partner type of love this may be like family romance or like not incest but like just your family and friends like really loving you like you may you know see how much love is around you um you may feel love is in the air especially with yeah february being valentine's month duh sunny so yeah you know you guys may be like just really focused on love and hooked on love and you want to be like hit by cupid Let's see. Let me flip my camera over. To see what's in store for you guys. Oh. February 2017. What's going on for Scorpios? February 2016. I feel for some of you, there's something in regards to mending a bridge. There may have been a situation going on um, with somebody who you really don't communicate that much with they may be an air sign Aquarius, a Gemini, Libra or they may have this energy in the chart um you know I feel like you want to make amends with this person I feel like you know there's a uh, you want somebody either you or um the other person wants to apologize and I feel like this is in regards to maybe childish behavior um maybe somebody wants to apologize uh on the behalf of the children um but i feel like there's communication that wants to be expressed but somebody just doesn't know how to get it out i'm also picking up that there may be something in regards to a divorce um or like separation maybe you've been separated from your partner um but with this you guys don't listen to the gossip is what I'm sensing with that. I'm also picking up something in regards to mother. And for some reason, like, the, the deceased. I don't know if there's a female energy around you. Uh, rather, this was a mother or a mother figure or, like, a good girlfriend. As in, like, a, you know, a girl who was a friend. Whatever the case would be. I just feel like there's a reconnecting, wanting to reach out. Um, or maybe this person is coming to you in your dreams. And, like their messages aren't clear i'm picking up for some of you like maybe like let's just say your mother died and you see your mother in your dreams but she's trying to talk to you and it's like all you hear is mmm, mmm, mmm. i feel like there's going to be something like you in, in regards to like deceased dreams um you aren't going to be able to hear what they're saying something isn't making sense for i'm not trying to alarm anybody but there i feel like this is for like 12 to 20 uh, percent of scorpios there's a demonic presence around you and i'm not trying to be funny like i'm just getting this message uh because i kept picking up on flies like flies near a near near a window or like a swarm of flies in a corner of your home to me 
flies like a lot of flies there's an attraction to this type of energy and um a lot of times a group of flies in a certain um in a certain location there's a there's an evil presence you know i'm not trying to be funny so just be aware of that and maybe that's why there's this wanting to reconnect like maybe there's a sense of protection like your mother figure or aunt's grandmother whatever the case may be especially if they are deceased like they're trying to protect you or they're trying to let you know that evil is coming so do be aware of flies um like just out of nowhere like just coming into your home uh, you, you just see like flies in your windows or you see flies around somebody's home and it's just like crazy and scary. Okay. Also, if you, and I'm also getting the message of if you're looking for a new home, be mindful of like you falling in love with a home that's haunted. I have to say it may not be the whole house. It may be like a room in the house. For some reason, I'm picking up on the attic and okay i'm getting the image of a a girl who was tortured she has on like a white gown and she's looking out the window her hair is a mess and like all she's doing is looking out this window there may be like a trapped soul like looking out of a window and this may be how you feel who knows these are general readings and I, i'm not trying to scare you guys i'm just picking up what i what i see but in regards to let's go back to this whole um communication this may be for somebody you know maybe this is for people who are alive and you you want to reconnect with them but you just don't know how to i do feel like there's something in regards to children like not being able to get to children or not being able to see your children as well there's a lot of confusion going on for some of you and you just don't really know how to make of it it's like you guys are trying to find your way, but it's like every time, you know, you feel like you're on a decent path or you're getting somewhere, it feels like something is holding you back. And I feel like this is in regards to um, either your self-doubt, because I'm seeing where some of you, it's just like you don't feel like you're good enough. You don't feel like you can get ahead in this situation. Honestly, pray to your divine God and angels and ask them to help you. Some of you guys, I hate to say, you are dealing with some weird karmic energy. Um, where, you know, you have to settle out some sort of karmic debt. I don't know why I'm picking up on payment day, judgment day, um, with the Hierophant. And maybe you have to answer to somebody um somebody higher than you this may be in regards to you know like your divine god and angels and like understanding like what's going on some of you guys you may have to go to an astrologer or somebody who's like really bomb at reading um your chart in order for you to like understand what's going on with the karmic energy okay um, cause I, I, for some reason I'm picking up on like somebody who is like really on top of their game in regards to documents and the astro, the, um, astrology side of things for some reason. However, there may be an issue in regards to not getting your money on time or not getting the amount that you had thought you would. I know tax time is, you know, uh, now. For some areas, I'm not sure all over the world, but for the U.S. it is. Um, so there may be something in regards to like institutions and like maybe um, there's uh, there's cuts. I said this for the Virgos. So like there may be some weird energy in regards to cuts, okay? Some of you guys may have a connection to a Pisces or an intuitive person, a Cancer or a Taurus. Um, and for some reason, I feel like there's some karmic energy. In regards to an an intuitive sorry an intuitive energy or a Taurus, but with you guys, you know, feeling as if you can't get ahead. What I'm picking up with this, combined with the Hierophant, you guys can't do this on your own. You know, this is kind of like out of your control. This is something that you're going to need some help in. Okay, and this may be help with a deceased loved one or someone who handles whatever this is professionally. Okay, for some reason, I'm picking up on encounters with something. I'm not sure if this is ghostly encounters or you guys are going to have 
interactions with a lot of stubborn as people or people who are just like really moody do be careful of like if you're looking for trouble or like if you are like in a bad mood be careful because you know this person may kind of tell you about yourself and i feel like there's going to be i hate to say a weird argument that's going to allow for you guys to like take a look back on yourself or like maybe not even an argument some sort of disagreement Maybe somebody is telling you something and like you don't agree with it. Whether it's your divine God and angels or this um, astrologer, psychic, whatever the case would be. And it's like you don't and it's like you don't agree with it. But sooner than later, especially around the eighth, maybe February eighth, eighteenth, twenty eighth, um, whatever the case would be, around eight p.m. a.m. whatever. Um, maybe even August. All right. I feel like you know it's gonna be like a wake up call for you. And you're going to be able to improve yourself and get rid of some sort of baggage. Something that's been holding you back. I also feel like there may be a fatherly influence with the emperor. And I do feel for some of you, like you need to make amends with your, with your father. Or you need to realize, you know, how your father has affected you positively or negatively. It honestly just depends i do feel like financially things are going to be fair for you guys um i feel like you know it's going to be all right for some of you <sighs> with the two of, with the two i want to say two of pentacles sorry with the two of cups in reverse i feel like with this be careful of you having i hate to say like sideline relationships or like there's like trouble in paradise in regards to love for some of you um you know do be aware of love triangles because i am picking up that somebody will you know say hey they've been cheating on you they haven't been faithful to you and i feel like this is gonna hurt a lot whether you are the one hearing this news or your partner is hearing this news because I'm picking up, um, especially if you have like some sort of fire energy or, in your chart or you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, is, there's something in regards to like fire energy that's going to be affected by love, by love triangles or um, just not feeling appreciated in love. And I feel like for some of you, you're going to feel like, okay, I should give this up. I don't want to fight anymore. Or like maybe if you aren't dealing with any sort of love, infidelity, whatever the case may be, maybe, you know, you kind of want to give up on love and if you're single like maybe you're just like when am i going to find love when does love want to be good to me you know it's, it feels like i can never get ahead what am i doing honestly y'all stop focusing so much on freaking love love will come to you there's this weird karmic energy that needs to break and i feel for some of you it may break this month okay and it's like you guys <sighs> Stop putting on rose-colored sunglasses for people who aren't worth your time. Understand your worth. Understand, you know, your value. And I feel like a lot of you, you will come to terms of this. To me, the seven of um, cups in reverse, it has its benefits. I will say that much. Because, you know, upright, it's about daydream. It's about, you know, seeing the forest from the trees things don't really make sense you know some of you you're you thought about the future too much but now it's time for you to honestly think short term it's time for you to instead of focusing so much on the fog focus on what's behind the fog what do you see how does it make you feel and i feel like you know you guys are coming to reality and it may be in regards to love. It may be in regards to, you know, what people have been telling you this whole time. It may be in regards to, you know, whatever the case may be. But just know that some of you, I hate to say, you've been very stubborn. Or you've been in a situation that hasn't been benefiting you at all. And now it's time for you to protect you. It's time for you to trust your own two feet. Because some of you, you've been walking the path, you've been walking on somebody else's path. You've been trying to live a life that's not even your own. And now it's time for you to like, I hate to say, you know, I, I'm not trying to say you guys are going to be lonely. I'm not saying that at all. But now it's time for you 
to do what's best for you and walk down your own path. I'm hearing uh, follow the yellow brick road. That's so cute. So follow peace. Follow justice is what I'm hearing. Just honestly follow happiness. If you guys can, please light yellow candles, eat yellow foods, meditate upon your solar plexus chakra. Okay. Um, and just see how far that gets you. I do feel for some of you financially, I do feel like financially things are going to be all right, but do be careful of you overspending. I will say that much or having this, you know, feeling of, Ooh, let me, let me save my money. Cause I, I feel like there's this thriftiness. I don't know if this is you or somebody around you, but do be careful of thrifty energy. Oh, this is you guys. And luckily you're showing up in the upright. But honestly, there comes a time when things have to end. There comes a time where you honestly need to realize what's important. And I feel like, you know, you guys will get this. And it may start with you guys understanding, you know, any childhood emotions childhood hauntings is what i'm picking up for some maybe you guys are being haunted by a child i'm, I'm not sure why i keep getting this child energy um maybe you know like your children something is not trying to be funny you know maybe you know your children are going down a weird path and with you seeing them going down a weird path it's going to help you you know be a better you it's going to help you be that role model that they're looking for whatever the case may be but for some of my scorpios it's time for you guys to honestly stop relying on other people and have more faith in yourself because you are no longer that little girl nor that little boy. All right, so the outcome. Oh, Lord, no, I'm lying. I'm lying. Let me see what's going on for career for you guys. I really got ahead of myself. All right, let's see what's going on. Outcome for Scorpios. For February 2017. Give me three cards. What's going on? Three of Cups in reverse. Magician in reverse. Six of Swords in reverse. From the energy, I feel like, you know, there may be something in regards to some of you kind of wanting a new job. I feel like there's going to be some, some new policy going on for you guys. And um, it may not benefit you. And there may be some financial cuts. Um, I'm also picking up something in regards to contract. Like a contract is up now. And you know now it's time for you to like get a new job. But I feel like there's somebody around you who isn't being honest in regards to career. And you shouldn't trust their word, especially not trying to be funny. If it's a co-worker, talk to the manager if you feel like there's a problem. But I'm also picking up for some of you. I said this for the Libra, so this is kind of interesting. How some of you, like, maybe you don't qualify for something. Okay, some of you... Be careful of you applying for jobs that your friends apply for. Because what's, what's for your friends may not be for you. Some of you guys, you are befriending people who aren't even your friend. And I do see where some of you are going to be aware of this. And I feel, you know, you guys, it's like, oh, I, no, that's not. No, they wouldn't do that. That's not them. That's not Samantha. That's not Derek. That's my friend. They wouldn't do that to me. But I honestly feel like you guys don't let your pride get in the way of honesty. Don't. Don't let that get in the way. And with the Six of Swords in reverse, I feel, you know, some of you guys, you may kind of put up a fight. Not like a physical fight. But, you know, I feel like, you know, you are going to leave in peace. You're going to you're going to let them know how you feel, especially if you feel like they treated you unfairly. But if you are looking for a new job, 
I do feel like, you know, it may be kind of hard for you. Because now it's time for you to do something out of the norm. It is, okay? You guys need to be open to the new possibilities. That, oh, right, this card will not pop back out. That's in store for you in regards to that's in that's in store for you in regards to your career. New possibilities, new opportunity. You guys have to fight your ego. I don't know if you if you guys you know feel like you deserve something or whatever the case may be, but honestly, you're gonna have to do what's best for you, and you may have to wait on it. But honestly, if you guys once again the yellow brick road is at your feet. Once you follow that, blessings will come through. Honestly. I feel like there may be something in regards to going back to school or having to train again. Or like just the thought of having to get a new job is going to be very annoying. But I'm seeing where honestly, boy, this crap popped out. The car popped out again. Where... It's time for you guys to be mindful of reality. Understand reality and understand what's in front of you now. There's a lot of times that, you know, we don't want to deal with situations. We just don't. But they do have benefit. They do uh, benefit us. And... Maybe you need this little temporary job to get ahead in life. Maybe this little temporary job or the job that you don't want. Maybe some way, somehow, is going to give you what you need. Because some of you, it, I'm not trying to be funny, there's this sense of lack. Like not having enough, not being qualified for something. But, you know, there may be a temporary job or like maybe you're just, you know, going to be at this job for six months. Whatever the case may be. Where you're going to learn so much more within that short period than your other job that you was probably on for 3 years, 13 years. So don't knock something because of your pride. Because it may be good for you. And if you guys don't know what knock means, because <laughs> I'm using some slang right now. Like, don't downgrade something. Don't, because we all have to start from somewhere. All right, February 2017, the outcome of February 2017 for Scorpios. What's the outcome? What's going on? Scorpios, outcome for February 2017. Interesting. This card popped out too. Um, patience and planning. This is a seven of pentacles. And see, remember this card? So just be patient, you guys. Be patient. Plan things out. But I'm getting the energy of just focusing more on short term. You guys, I feel like you know, you got, you've been planning for like the next year, the next two years, where you see yourself in five years. You guys got that down pat. But what about tomorrow? What about the end of February? What about March? Do you guys have that planned out? Okay. So hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Good luck with everything. And I should be back for March. Bye.